Joining me now is Kellen Curry, a Republican running for the seat currently occupied by embattled Congressman George Santos. Kellen, thank you so much for joining me. Well, thank you for having me. I always appreciate our sit down, so I'm looking forward to uh, speaking with you today. Me too, and there has been some big news over the past few days. George Santos announced last week that he is not running for re-election. What's your response? Well, listen, I think it's a step in the right direction. Certainly, you know, we have been calling for, for this day to come for quite some time, uh, but the country is still at a crossroads. Our, our, our district is still, is still at a crossroads. And so we stay focused on the issues that Long Islanders care about, like quality of life, uh, getting rid of the salt cap deduction. Certainly we have a large and vibrant Jewish community here that's very much uh, concerned about what's going on in the Middle East. So some of these issues that are impacting our community that are not being resolved, uh, are not being advocated for because we don't have the right representation. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's the beginning of a new day where we can begin to see uh, that day come when we get you know, a, better, a better member of Congress, and I'm, I'm hopeful that it will be me. I do want to talk about your strategy just a little bit, and if this changes it at all. Does George Santos deciding not to seek re-election change the dynamic of the race going forward? For us, not at all. You know, we were the first campaign to get into this race, and we got into this race early because we always thought that this could be a potential outcome. And so here we are. And so for us, you know, it's just another day of getting up, knocking on doors, connecting with voters, building a campaign operation so that by the time we get into 2024, uh, we have a good, a, good, a good foundation for a campaign that can, that can be successful in this battleground district. So we're excited uh, about this outcome. We're ready for it and we look forward to being successful.